It's Bonnie. Happy Sunday. I am back. I have got a giant bag of soap. <laughs> I've got some other stuff in here, too. I'm like, I'm going to you're the one in here. I don't know. I'm just going to mishmash some stuff. I thought I just had soap in here. So we're going to have a little fun with Bath & Body Works hand soap. I'm going to do a gear in review because you know what i love hand soap i gotta say i am a hand soap collector and i've actually done really good in the past couple of years at paring my hand soap collection down i used to totally overbuy uh, now i only kind of over by. So we use a lot of Bath & Body Works hand soap in our house. Um, probably more than most people. We're always washing our hands. I love the foaming formula. I have a lot of the gel. I don't like the gel as much because it takes a little longer to rinse off. And the foaming never bothers my hands, but it's always like so exciting to find out what soaps are going to come out every season. And being a reviewer, I usually buy the collections so I can show you. And then um, I buy a couple extra then for myself if I really liked it. Cotton Candy Grape is apparently coming. A lot of people have seen it. It's supposed to smell really good. I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm going to get a lot of Cotton Candy Grape. So that's exciting. So a semi-annual sale coming up, um, you should be able to get soap in like the $1.67 range towards the end of the sale. It probably won't be that price right away, but if you wait it out, you could get like um, Winter Candy Apple for $1.67. So a lot of people do like waiting it out. So we're going to go back to last year's semi-annual sale. And I'm going to pull a couple of photos. Uh, first photo is, let me see here. Um, here we go. I don't even remember these. <laughs> like white cucumber mint and moonflower petals. I'm not even sure that was for semi-annual sale or right after. I'm like, I don't even remember those. And then I do remember, I think this was from semi-annual sale last year. Mango Mai Tai, White Wave, Strawberry Soda, and Limoncello. It's funny because we were just talking about Limoncello in the last video. Um, I would love to see Strawberry Soda back in the Body Care lineup this year. So I found those. And then as we moved into January, we saw Sweet Sandalwood, Lavender Vetiver, Raspberry Tangerine. We move quickly into spring. I'll have to say that much. Bath & Body Works doesn't waste any time. Um, strawberry Pound Cake. Remember that bottle style? That was actually kind of cool. I got a couple of those. Strawberry Pound Cake's always a win. Um, and then Valentine's Day. Remember these? Twilight Rose BU, which was um, Bubbly Rosé. I didn't like that one. And then Velvet elderberry. I think I liked that one. That was good. I It's funny. I don't even remember these. I'm like, oh my gosh. And then remember this collection? <laughs> like sunshine and lemons. There's the other lemon one. Um, strawberry pound cake, pineapple mango, and radiant sky. I liked the gel formulas, the packaging. So I remember getting those. And then tropical rolled around. So we got... Um, all this tropical stuff that was around like mid February. Look how pretty that looks though. I'm like tropicals like right around the corner. Um, I have another smaller photo so you can see some of the scents in tropical, but we had Honolulu sun, pink pineapple sunrise, watermelon mojito. I did like those bottles. Those are nice. I don't know. I'm obsessed with the bottles. They're so pretty. Um, and then we had Easter, which was, Cotton Tail Cake Pop. That was pretty good, I remember. Happy Easter, Tutti Fruity Candy. And then Somebody Loves You was Pink Apple Punch, which is an odd choice. Why can't we have a chocolate hand soap? I would take that for Easter. And then um, I think we had some Mother's Day. I can't find my Mother's Day photos, but I did find these. These were some of the grossest hand soaps ever. This was like around semi-annual sale. White tea and sage and pineapple mango. That wasn't bad. Kitchen lemon and Honolulu sun was a no. 
Rosewater and ivy, mahogany teakwood was a no. Watermelon lemonade and eucalyptus mint was a no. <laughs> and then the grossest one was champagne toast and iced cinnamon rolls. I don't know who thought of putting these together, uh, but they were total, like, ew, no's for me. Then we got one of the most awesome soap collections of the year. I loved this packaging, by the way. We had Sweet Strawberry Scoop, Sweet Orange Blossom, Poolside Pomelo, Sunshine and Lemons, Bright Summer Days, and Wildberry Lemonade. The Wildberry Lemonade was really, really good. By the way, did we get Berry Waffle Cone in a soap this year? I'm like, I don't remember. I'm like, I don't see a photo. So then, um, we really quickly, oh, here's a, here's a semi-annual sale photo of all that gross mashup stuff. <laughs> they had a lot of it. Only 50% off, too. And then, of course, we moved into fall early. Uh, pumpkin pecan waffles, raspberry green tea, sweater weather, and then Halloween, I felt like, was really good this year for soap. Moonlit Graveyard, Ghoul Friend, Wicked Vanilla Woods, Spellbinding Sweets, and Perfect Pumpkin. I love those jar uh, bottle styles. We had a couple of other ones, too. Uh, Vampire Blood was in there. Um, there's Vampire Blood. Remember the snake uh, soap holder? That was actually kind of cool. I liked it. And then um, basically half the year is devoted to fall and Christmas hand soap. So I pulled a whole bunch that um, I, of course, love. I'm going to put up one screenshot because it's so pretty of Christmas. Um, this is like my favorite Christmas hand soap photo of the year. It's just beautiful. The light was hitting the right way. And um, I got to say, those bottles were gorgeous. And then I'm still like completely perplexed as we were supposed to get like Winterberry Ice, Tis the Season, um, in the body care, we never got it. We never got it. So that's just a good example of when you have like a sneak peek or a leak, it doesn't always happen. And that's kind of sad because you're like anticipating it. Then you're like, mm, didn't happen. So um, I have a lot left. I've got like a vanilla icicles. I've got flannel. Now, some of these I'm actually using as gifts. I have um, bags on my table, and I'm going to do gift bags right now. Everybody's getting a hand soap and a body lotion and like a pocket bag, but I have some family gifts and coworker teacher type gifts. Uh, marshmallow Fireside. This is a good one. I don't know if I can part with this one, you guys. No, I can't. <laughs> like, I'm keeping this one. <laughs> I gotta figure out which soap to gift. Uh, pink park, pink sparkling spritz. I'll probably get rid of that one. Um, what was this one? Uh, fresh sparkling snow. I need at least like ten to gift off. Uh, coconut angel cake. I have lavender cloud. That's not Christmas Christmassy enough for me to gift. So I think I'll keep that one. I might have to give up Marshmallow Fireside if I don't have enough soap. I need a soap sale, like, now. Winter Candy Apple. Um, let me see here. Oh, Cocktail Garden. This is a new one that just recently came out. It smells good, though. I like this. This is, like, fresh and fruity. Um, it's Muddled Mint, Sparkling Lime, and Ginger Soda. I really like that one. Oh, I can gift this one. Pink Tinsel Petals. We only got this in the gel for some reason. I don't know why. And then I have a winter. I have a winter. And then I think on my shelves back here, I have some more. I've got, oh, Vanilla Birch. You know, it's funny. You never know what you're going to find. I had a clean back here. I want to set up for, um, like, New Year's after Christmas because uh, everything's getting messy. I have a blackberry and bergamot. Okay, how many do I have for gifts? Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. No, I have eleven. I think I think I might be okay gift-wise. I know there's some other hand soaps hiding somewhere. I've got bags of stuff sitting everywhere. I know I have more. Uh, the shelf over here, I definitely have more. Um, so I'm not worried. <laughs> So for fall, um, my favorite soaps for fall, pumpkin pecan waffles. I love um, pumpkin apple. That's like one of my favorite soaps um, of all time for fall. So I don't feel like 
this year was like, it's kind of like, um, you know, the body cream or the body care and the candles. I don't feel like this was the best year for Bath and Body Works. It was okay. Um, there were some definite standouts, some definite wins, but it wasn't a land of sweet year at all. I mean, there was definitely some stuff that was kind of like a bummer. And, um, you know, we didn't get a lot of what uh, we wanted in the gourmand and foodie um, arena, I think. Um, coconut angel cake. I didn't love this one. It was okay. Um, it wasn't very strong. Fluffy coconut angel food cake, vanilla sugar. It was, it was just okay. So I don't know. Let me know what you thought about soap this year. Like I said, my favorite collection, I think was like, I love that summer collection. That one was good. And of course I love Tis the Season, you know, for winter. I love my winter candy apple. I like the classics, but I don't really feel like there was anything like new and spectacular. I'm really hoping to get my hands on that cotton candy grape soon because I want to try that. That one's intriguing to me. So anyway, um, be careful not to overbuy soap. Don't do what I did. I used to have this rolling cart of like a hundred soaps. And I'm like, you know what? I got to make sure I don't over soap myself and I'm doing good now. I've, I've got my stash under control. <laughs> anyway, thank you so much for watching. Let me know your favorite hand soap and uh, we should be getting some new ones um, for some annual sale, including the grape cotton candy. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys later. Bye bye.